Welcome to Storytime with Burley. Today we are reading Monster Manners by Joanna Cole. Monster Manners by Joanna Cole. Rosie Monster looked like a perfect little monster. She had nice strong teeth and sharp little claws and green eyes that glowed in the dark. Rosie had just one problem. She was always forgetting her monster manners. Monsters are supposed to fight with their friends and break each other's toys. Rosie played nicely with everyone. This made her mother very unhappy. Monsters are supposed to growl loudly when they answer the telephone. Rosie always forgot and said, hello, in a polite voice. Her father found this very upsetting. One day when the family was out walking, Rosie even helped an old man cross the street. Her mother and father shook their heads. I'm afraid Rosie will never learn, said her father. How will she get along in the world, asked her mother. Poor child. While they were talking, Rosie's best friend Prunella came by. Buzz off. What a gal. You have good manners, Prunella, said Rosie. Will you teach me? Sure, said Prunella. The first lesson was making monster faces. Prunella showed Rosie how to make monster face number one. Monster face number two. Monster face number three. And monster face number four. Then it was Rosie's turn. She tried monster face number one. Then number two. Number three. And number four. That's terrible, said Prunella. Maybe you're better at table manners. Prunella took Rosie to a restaurant. Everyone fainted when Prunella started to eat. How gross. Oh! Rosie forgot her monster manners as usual. She used her napkin and her fork and spoon. And when she asked Prunella to pass the salt, she said, please. Prunella was angry. You're not even trying, she said. Prunella decided to give Rosie one more chance. This time we will practice our visiting manners, she said. We'll drop in on my Uncle Ned. Prunella behaved perfectly for a monster. First, she rang the doorbell 10 times without stopping, even when she heard her uncle say, come in. Then Prunella went inside and jumped up and down on her uncle's favorite chair. She spilled a vase of flowers on the rug. And finally, she stepped very hard on Uncle Ned's foot. Uncle Ned was proud of Prunella. Good. But Rosie said, how do you do? And sat quietly on the sofa. Uncle Ned was horrified. He asked Prunella to take her friend home until she could learn better manners. Gads! Rosie hung her head and followed Prunella. For the first time, Rosie realized how unhappy she had made everyone. And now she felt unhappy too. When Rosie and Prunella got to the monster's house, they saw a big mess. A pipe had broken and water was pouring everywhere. Rosie's mother called the plumber and growled into the phone. Grrr! The plumber hung up. Click! Rosie's father called and roared into the phone. Grrr! The plumber hung up harder. Click! 
Prunella tried too, but the same thing happened. Click! They were getting nowhere, and the water was getting deeper. Something had to be done, and Rosie did it. Without thinking, she dialed the phone and said in a nice voice, Hello, we have a leak at the monster's house. Can you come over, please? I'll be right there, said the plumber. Thank you, said Rosie. After the plumber had left and everything was back to normal, Rosie's mother turned to Rosie's father. You know, dear, she said, Rosie's strange manners do come in handy sometimes. We're lucky to have her, said Rosie's father, strange manners and all. They gave Rosie a hug and a kiss and sent her out to play. Mind your manners, dear, called Rosie's mother from the window. I will, mother, answered Rosie. The end. That concludes our reading of Monster Manners by Joanna Cole. Thank you for watching Storytime with Burley. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, At Home with Burley. Thank you. Bye.